Hi guys, Captain Nick Pavlakis here with Marine Max in St. Petersburg, and welcome to our in-depth walkthrough of the Aquila 54 Power Catamaran, an unprecedented success across a boat this big, having so much popularity, and there's a big reason why. This is haul number three, and we are already sold out through haul number 36 as of the moment. Come see what the hype's all about. It's worth the wait, trust me. As you join me on the aft deck right here, one of the first features you're gonna notice on the 54 compared to some of the other models is you've got a great deal of shade right here. This whole area is protected from the sun and you give yourself a very nice area to eat dinner on, maybe enjoy a brunch while you're docked up. Got a nice long horizontal table right here. This one they actually did with a marble looking finish. It's also a nice place to maybe have a couple chairs back here, seat six to eight people comfortably when it's all said and done. Moving back here, there's a few other features I wanna point out. You've got this dance floor right here. This is actually where your rib or your tender is gonna fit. It's gonna sit nicely. You notice that unlike the 44, you don't see a davit. And Aquila did a great job, a very innovative system. Right here, you've got this boom. You'll see it in a separate video how it works. It comes out, hooks on a dinghy, brings the dinghy back, and then the winch goes down. Real easy system to use. One person can use it. I know that that's a big challenge on a lot of other catamarans is, you know, launching and retrieving the rib. They did away with that and the system really does work great. Moving back here, we're gonna actually start this video off strictly with exterior. We'll get to the interior stuff in the end, but I know you're probably wondering what this is here. This is access to your crew quarters, grandkid quarters, whatever you wanna call it. There is a bunk in there. There is its own head. And on a three stateroom layout, this boat's a four stateroom. On a three stateroom, this is changed into a storage area. The 54 Aquila is available in three, four, or five stateroom layout. And, uh, and that's one of the things that you gain with the four and the five. As somebody that spent a ton of time behind the wheel of 5401 and many 44s, this right here is the biggest upgrade on the 54 Aquila. While the 54 is available with a open flybridge layout, there is an option for what's called the Sky Lounge up on the fully enclosed bridge, and it is super nice to drive. You get that heat cranking, that AC cranking, and plus, when you're making those long trips to the Keys or the Bahamas, it's amazing how refreshed you feel at the end of the day when you're not exposed to the elements. Over here at the helm station, you notice you have actual captain's chairs. It makes it a lot easier on the back as opposed to being on a bench seat and hunching over. We've got a Raymarine screen right there. Volvo Penta display our C-Zone, which is gonna control everything on the boat. And you do have room for an additional display on the port hand side. As you take a look over here, you notice that we have the table that is gonna have that similar finish to the one on the aft deck. Gives it a real rich and luxurious feel. This table is gonna flip up as well. Right here, you notice that comes back. Why would it do that? That makes no sense, you're looking at a door. But while you have the option to fully enclose the bridge up here, check this out. You also have the option to open things up when you're cruising, when it's nice out, and you can really let that air in. Back here, spectacular job on the sky deck. Now, you notice that there's really not much going on right here, there's a reason for that. They were gonna put some furniture down, but they figured, hey, let's leave it up to the owner. You can put a couple bean bags, a couple chairs. You can do whatever you want back here, it's your blank canvas. Over here, this is our Flybridge sky deck outdoor kitchen area. You notice you got a sink, plenty of storage down beneath there. More storage. And you've got your refrigerator right there, underneath the grill, the Kenyan grill, of course. Much like the 70, you see that the 54 is equipped with a Portuguese bridge that you're gonna be able to walk all the way around on, not one, but two sides. Great for an owner operator that might only be a husband and wife team. You don't need a ton of people to operate this boat because you've got plenty of maneuverability within the vessel. Right here, it's about time Aquila really utilized that space up on the bow, got a lot of entertaining area, and I'm gonna show you why it's so exciting. You walk down here, you have your center walkthrough, similar to what you saw on the 44, but you've got two loungers right here, a place that people are actually gonna hang out at, cup holders already well equipped, and of course down here,
These are gonna flip up. I mean, they did a great job maximizing this space up here. You've actually got these cushions are on a boat right now, but you have another set of cushions for people to actually sit and enjoy themselves. Massive storage in the port and the starboard, similar to what we saw on the 44. Access to all your ground tackle right there, your windlass and whatnot. And now with that being said, that's the exterior walkthrough. Let's go inside and get to the real magic. Now it's time to start the interior walkthrough part of this video. But before we go inside, I did promise you, and I am a man of my word, that we we're gonna show you this four stateroom back here. So, without any further ado, follow me. So here you find us down in the bunks in the, uh, out on the deck in that fourth or fifth crew cabin. You've got storage in here for your clothes or whatever it may be. You've got your skipper's bunk. And I actually think it's nice and cozy in here. I love this room personally. And you've got a wet head, but a large wet head at that. Sticking with the true Aquila DNA, as you see on a lot of their larger boats, back here they continue to stick with the ever popular bar area. It's going to fold up, get that breeze going in, get those cocktails mixing right there. And, and now we're talking about a real entertaining area back here. As we make our way into the boat, you're going to notice a few things that are still left loose. This boat literally got picked up from the port two days ago. This is your raw, uncut Aquila 54 walkthrough for your eyes only before anybody else. Back here, don't mind the mess. We've got this island, they did a spectacular job. Great place to lay out some hors d'oeuvres or a charcuterie board, whatever it is. You've got storage right here for your silverware, maybe a couple pots and pans. Optional wine cooler down beneath. I believe it's a 23 bottle holder, don't quote me on that. Over here you've got additional storage for wine bottles that you might not need to keep as cold. The galley, very open layout. We've got a four burner induction cooktop by Kenyon, of course, right there. Plenty of storage throughout this whole area. Remember, a lot of people are gonna wanna live on these boats and this is definitely more capable to live on than a lot of 40 foot catamarans. You wanna swing around over here. We ask Aquila owners, what did you wanna see on the 54? What's super important to you? Full size fridge, you're not playing Tetris anymore. Fisher pick hell, best in the business. And this really makes those long trips easier to plan for. You don't need to ration everything off quite as much. You've got all the amenities of home right here on the Aquila 54. Follow me down here to the port stateroom. This is gonna be the smaller of the two side staterooms inside the boat. Still rather large, got a nice light here, a lot of natural light. People get claustrophobic a lot on a boat. I don't feel that way. It's very open, tall head space. I'm about six foot tall. You see that I don't have an issue there. Drop down TVs at all. They have not been rigged yet on this boat, but you're gonna have a drop down TV right there. And of course that brings us to our dry head over here. This is the smaller of the two staterooms because on a four and five stateroom boat, you've got the crew quarters back there. If this were a three stateroom boat, this would be larger. If you make your way down into the starboard stateroom on a four stateroom boat, I like to call this the VIP suite. You've got a walk around bed right there. Nice little lounging area. Get changed, do whatever you need to do, put your makeup on. And then you have another dry head right there as well, similar to the one on the port side. Here we've got a great place to lounge out. You can fit three, four, maybe five adults that know each other really well. Open this up for a dining room table. This is gonna swivel as well. And you have it unlocked. But real nice big table. You're gonna mount your big TV right there as well. And a lot of inside space. Maybe if you're at the dock and it's not so nice out and you're just in the port for a day or two. Not a bad place to stay. Got an additional couch right there. A lot of real estate there too. Maybe even if you wanted to put a lounger for a kid to put a sleeping bag or something. I think that'd be pretty cool, but that's just me. As many of you know, what made the 44 Aquila such a big success was the full beam master stateroom. And the 54 really outdid that aspect. You notice you've got a light that goes all the way around. 
I mean, this is something that you'd see on a 100 footer. We've got it on a 54 footer. Down there, we've got the head area. You've got your shower over there, dual sinks, and then of course your uh, head down forward. Making our way over here to the port side of the forward master stateroom. You've got tremendous amount of closet space. Got a bottom diver out there. Appreciate his work, he's doing a great job. Keeping those zincs fresh. Got a nice little vanity right there. Get ready for the big night on the town. Now before I get picked apart on YouTube by all you technical guys saying, hey, how come you didn't go in the engine rooms? I'm gonna do just that. We're going in the engine rooms, baby. Down here we have extremely spacious engine rooms. This particular hull number three is powered by twin Volvo Penta D6 480s. I've ran this boat a lot. I've ran hull number one a lot. Likes to cruise around 18 knots. Cuts through the water really nice. No slamming or anything. Gets up on plane real quick and you're gonna to top out in the mid 20s, give or take, don't quote me on that, that's all depending on load. Now, there's a couple upgrades on this boat as well. We have the extra fuel tanks. We've got the cable masters right here, which is, there's gonna be a switch up there. And then we have our Kohler generator down here. A ton of room to work. I mean, I'm a full-size grown man and I can walk around this whole engine on both sides. Nice and clean wiring too for everything. For the captain that's running the boat, all your ACRs and whatnot, everything's nice and tight. Ah, I love new boats, man. Down here in the port side engine room, it's a lot of the same stuff, still plenty of room. Got another fuel filter right there. More breakers, that's gonna relate more to your ACRs. And then you've got a Spectra 41 gallon an hour fresh water maker. That's really gonna come in handy if you're in the Bahamas and you can't get to a source of fresh water quite as easy. So I guess I'll, Finished the walkthrough down in the engine room. There's a first for everything. I'm Captain Nick Pavlakis, and I am a Marine Max sales consultant at Marine Max in St. Petersburg. Come see me to build your own 54 Aquila and get on that waiting list. Bye, guys.